Katrina, how was the Aerosmith concert? Oh, you got me. I couldn't see a thing. I thought you spent all that money on eighth row seats. Yeah, well, a woman's basketball team had seventh row. <laughs> a point guard named Sandra offered to put me on her shoulders, but then I realized she meant after the concert. <laughs> Katrina, you know, I'm always impressed with the way you handle adversity. Oh, well, I'm trying to stay positive. Like it said on the back of Sandra's shirt, I go down smiling. <laughs> Katrina, I was at that concert. I really wish I knew you were going. I would have got you backstage. You're kidding! Didn't you see when they pulled me on stage to dance to Walk This Way? No! But that explains why Sandra ignored me during that song. How'd you get backstage? Oh, I used to date one of the guys in Aerosmith. I'd love to tell you who, but I signed a confidentiality agreement with Steven Tyler. Oh, you were a groupie. Excuse me? I was not a groupie. I was a girlfriend. Right. And I was never a nerd. I was a mathlete. I was not a groupie. Groupies don't get taken to dinner. Girlfriends do. Groupies don't spend the night. Girlfriends do. Groupies have sex on tour buses. Well, there's some crossover. I'm in a band. Oh, cool. What do you play? Bass. He, uh, sings bass in a barbershop quartet. We have a, we have a steady gig at Shakey's Pizza. Second Thursday of every month. You say you're with the band, I can get you a free pizza. <laughs> Topping. It's not free, it comes with barbershop quartet music. Well, I think it sounds like fun, and I'd love to come see you sometime. Oh, yeah, good. They could use a groupie. Oh, I'm sorry, a girlfriend. No, I think you could use the girlfriend. I used to have groupies. <clears throat> What? All the guys that NASA did during the space race, especially during launchings. I wonder what it was. Something about a 300-foot rocket blasting into space really gets the girls going. <laughs> Harold, let me ask you a question. How do I get a woman like Skylar to notice me? Well, uh, Stuart, uh, Skylar is an extremely beautiful woman. And you're... <laughs> From what? Hey, believe it or not, Harold, I have dated attractive women. Really? <laughs> yeah, yes, really. Remember Janine? Janine? If we'd found life like that on Mars, we'd have left it there. <laughs> okay, okay, granted, Skylar's in a league of her own, and I realize I'm not the type of guy that she'd immediately go for, but I think over time she might develop an interest in me. Well, I suppose if you demonstrated certain characteristics, like what? Physical beauty, wealth, <laughs> charm, fame, charisma, prospects of obtaining any one of those. Appreciate your honesty. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'll just drag myself back under my bridge and mate with a goat. Do you really expect much of a turnout to this thing? To a Susanna Wolf book reading? She's only won the Penn Faulkner Award and the Booker Prize. Oh, gosh, hope no one gets trampled in the stampede. <laughs> what time does it start, anyway? What, you're coming? Yes, Gavin. I believe you should try new things, even if you don't think you'll like them. That's what Sandra told me when she was rubbing my shoulders during Sweet Emotion. <laughs> and so envy the stones, smoothed but unstartled by the tread of those unlikely journeymen, bound forever by their memory <laughs> of that starless summer. You're still crying? You were crying the last time I woke up. Uh, well, wow, what a treat. Thank you again, Ms. Wolf. It was my pleasure. Now, does anyone have any questions? I do. The protagonist in your last novel is named Dylan. Is that because you secretly harbor affection for an ardent admirer named Dylan? <laughs> no, it isn't, George. My name's Dylan now. The judge informed me that you changed. And now stop coming to these things. <laughs> All right.
right, I think we're done with questions. Uh, now, Ms. Wolf has graciously agreed to stay and sign copies of her book. Oh. oh. <clears throat> I can't believe you slept through the whole thing. Me neither. I gotta get that on tape. It's better than Ambien. <laughs> Thank you again for coming. You were wonderful. Oh, I just hope I didn't go on too long. No, no, no. I could have listened to you all night. Hey, if you're not busy later, join me for a drink. I'll tell you an off-color story about John Grisham. <laughs> you... you want to have a drink with me? I'm... I'm honored. I mean, I'm like your biggest fan. No, you're not, pretty boy! <laughs> Tyler just called me, and guess what? Aerosmith is shooting a video tonight in town. Do you want to come with me and watch? Are you serious? That would be fantastic. See, if you keep a positive attitude, good things will happen. Wait, will there be one of those crazy backstage parties where they expect me to have sex with them? Of course not. Could there be? <laughs> Miss Stewart, I fear I may have offended you yesterday. I'd like to apologize. Well, I, I appreciate that, Harold. You, you did, uh... That kind of hurt my feelings. Well, you shouldn't listen to me. I'm no judge, that sort of thing. Never have been. Back at NASA, when we were misguidedly training chimps for space flight, there was this one named Captain Bobo. We never thought he would find a mate. I mean, it practically made you sick to look at him. <laughs> uh, lab assistants had to use mirrors to feed him. <laughs> Where are you going with this, Harold? <laughs> well, eventually, even he attracted a female. So, there's hope. <laughs> hope! Oh, look who finally decided to join us. We've been open for an hour already. What are you talking about? You just got here 10 minutes ago. What are you, Big Ben? <laughs> Yeah, uh, sorry I'm late. I had the uh, craziest morning. First, my car wouldn't start, then my landlord called to uh, tell me I was late on my rent, and uh, I slept with Susanna Wolf. You're kidding me. No, no, no. She's the first woman I slept with since my divorce. I know. What happened? Well, uh, she asked me out for a drink last night after the book reading, and uh, we had the most stimulating discussion about literature. Her insights into Dante are... Get to the sex. Right, right. Uh, well... One thing led to another. She uh, invited me back to her room for a drink, and then we, uh, you know, conjoined. Oh, are you guys talking about those poor twins? <laughs> no, well, my brother here got lucky last night. With conjoined twins? <laughs> no, you're the one who said twins. It was just one person. Susanna Wolf. Oh, that author you're all crazy about. What, she picked you up after the reading? We went out, yes. Oh, huh. so of all the fans that were there last night, she chose you to go back to her hotel room? Well... Now that you mention it, yes, you did. Oh, my God, Gavin! What? You're a groupie. <laughs>
I'm Barbara Kramer, Ms. Wolf's publicist. Oh, hi, is uh, Susanna? I'm afraid she can't make it tonight. Family emergency. Oh, no, what happened? Huh? <laughs> Well, uh, actually, see, the thing is, a lot of times she gets... There's no family emergency, is there? I'm sorry, I wish there were. <laughs> oh, my God. I am a groupie. <laughs> okay, trust me, this is no reflection on you. I've had this conversation with more men than you can imagine. <laughs> Suddenly, I can imagine a lot. Double it. <laughs> Okay, for what it's worth, she said very nice things about you. I mean, assuming she didn't confuse you with someone else. But I doubt that. The book tour just started. God, I'm a bad publicist. Excuse me. Could I have a vodka martini, please? <sighs> Dirty. Like me. Oh, my God. I am so nervous. What if I pass out or throw up or break something? If they're rock stars, you'll fit right in. Look at me. I'm shaking. They're just people, and you're awesome. Here, take this. What is it? A breath mint. <laughs> hey, Scarlett. Hey, Dino. And I love those shoes. Oh, thanks. They were super expensive, and I probably shouldn't have got them, but I was thinking if I was going to meet Aerosmith, then I wanted to... <laughs> Did you guys see my friend? She's about this tall, has brown hair. Haven't seen her. Uh-oh. Uh, Kat, if anyone else offers you a breath mint, it's not a breath mint. <laughs>
got to tell you, Stuart, Barbara's smart, she's sweet. I don't know, there could be something there. We had an unbelievably great night. Oh, really? What happened? It's very simple. You see, your knuckles meet the wood, and the sound alerts people of your intention to enter. Speaking of wood, guess who got lucky again last night? Stuart! Oh, so Book Lady actually showed up? No, this time I was with her publicist. <gasps> oh, God, Gavin, no. What? Don't you get it? You were passed around. I was what? Passed around. It's when someone gets handed off to underlings after the star is done with them. Picture a groupie minus the positive self-image. Oh, that is ludicrous. I was not passed around. Well, then why did this woman show up to a date that you had with Susanna? She was simply being nice enough to, uh... Let you down easy? Offer you a shoulder to cry on? Have a few drinks and invite you back to her place where the consoling would lead to... All right! <laughs> you may have been right about Susanna, but Barbara's a completely different story. Oh, Gavin, if she knew Susanna wasn't going to be there, why did she let you go all the way down there? She could have just called you here at the bookstore. Well, obviously, she didn't have the number. Even though she's the publicist that just booked a reading here? <laughs> well, she could have... I mean, that still doesn't... Oh, God. <laughs> I am such an idiot. Yeah, you had sex with two different women on two consecutive nights. Loser. <laughs>
still pretty upset about that whole pass around thing, huh? Well, wouldn't you be? I've been leaving messages on her cell phone all day and she won't return my calls. I am this close to trying again and really telling her off. Well, Gavin, why bother? Because it's just not right. I was passed around, Skylar. <laughs> well, maybe it wouldn't bother you so much if you could just think of this as a couple of fun little flings. I don't have fun little flings, okay? I mean, I thought they had interest in me as a person. You know what? I think you should call that Barbara. Tell her how you feel. Let her have it. I think I will. Yeah. I mean, people should know that there are consequences to their actions and that it, it is just not right to treat another human being this way. I know. Good for you. Don't let her get away with this. Voicemail again. Ah, Barbara, this is Gavin from last night, in case you don't remember. Um, just want to tell you that I, uh... I am not a pass-around. I am not a pass-around. I have self-respect. And I have self-respect. I'm more than just another hot young blonde you could ditch at a Best Western in Omaha. <laughs> the point is, Barbara, your behavior was despicable. I regret ever having met you. You have an annoying laugh, you wear far too much perfume, and considering how often you seem to have sex, you're shockingly unskilled at it. <laughs> that was fantastic. You told her. I sure did. I just wish I had someone else to call, but the truth is I haven't slept with that many people. <laughs> Boy, I wish you could see that little hooker's face when she picks up that message. Barbara? Yeah, you know the good thing about voicemail? You can never be that brutal if you're actually talking to the person. Barbara? Yes, Barbara, Barbara, what's wrong with you? Hi, Gavin. Barbara? Um, what are you doing here? Well, I left my cell phone at the restaurant, so I had to pick it up, and I saw that you called, so I thought I'd stop by and see if you were free for dinner. I had such a nice time last night. Oh, huh. yeah, I, uh... Oh, God, another message. I better check this. Uh, wait, 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 wait. Uh, before you listen to that, I, uh... Oh, it's from you! <laughs> no, 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 I, I just want you to know I was very upset when I left that message, okay? It was like a, a misunderstanding. Please stop listening! <laughs> Unskilled? That's not what I meant. L wait, 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 Barbara, you're very skilled sexually, like a pro. Oh! <laughs> what was that about? Looks like the third time this week he's gotten screwed. 